Alright, all right, guys, I'm going to talk a little bit about CM Punk uh, making his mixed martial arts debut, certainly in the big leagues. Uh, UFC 203 in September, uh, September 10th, actually. Uh, it's headlined by Stipe Miocic versus Alistair Overeem for the title, heavyweight title. Uh, anyway, uh, Punk. Of course, you probably all know is fighting Mickey Gall, uh, yeah, who's got a couple fights under his belt. Um, Semi-experienced fighter, I guess. Um, Punk, of course, has no fights under his belt. Has a UFC contract. A lot of people are upset about that, uh, you know. But CM Punk's putting a lot, a lot of, uh, a lot of himself on the line. I mean, you know, he's taking a chance here. Um, good or bad, right or wrong, I don't know whatever doesn't really matter but the bottom line is it's probably gonna sell some tickets so uh, of course punks up lives in Chicago I think he's training in Milwaukee I think he lives in Milwaukee now like part-time uh, with uh, uh, Duke Rufus uh, at uh, Rufus Sport up there uh, a lot of pro fighters up there training um, he's trying to make some progress you know the, the thing that uh, going into this you know uh, one of the, a couple factors for me. Uh, one's going to be Phil's age. Phil's like 37 years old. I think Mickey Gall is like 24 with experience. Uh, if there's, you know, anything, if you're going into something like this, a lot of times people will put the money on the guy with experience and the guy who's younger. And Mickey Gall has both of those uh, going for him. So a betting man, obviously, you're going to bet on Mickey Gall. Uh, you know, I was watching a UFC video. CM Punk, the evolution of Punk, um, you know, looks pretty raw, obviously, this is when he started, so I'm sure he's a little more polished now, but the fact of the matter is, I mean, he, you know, he hasn't had any fights, so um, I'm not a fan of either one of these guys one way or the other, I, I, you know, whatever, um, but, you know, it takes a lot of balls for that Punk to give up pretty lucrative living, uh, a lot of money in the prof uh, professional wrestling world to go do what he's doing so I mean, he can always go back to that maybe that's what he's thinking I don't know I know he had a bit of a harsh breakup with him but um, you know the, and another aspect besides the age factor is injuries Punk uh, injured his shoulder um, a while back in training put it on uh, the back burner for a while and uh, he also had to have a herniated disc in his back repaired so, uh, you know, um, those two things going into a fight, I mean, those are big deals. The herniated back, man, the disc is a big deal. So, uh, you know, with those two things going against them, I mean, you got to put your money on uh, Mickey Gall uh, in this fight. Uh, you know, I'd like to see Punk win. I think it's probably good for the UFC if he wins. But he's got like a two or three fight contract, so he's not going anywhere. You know, they're not going to give him... Uh, the Walter Wade champ or anything anytime soon so we don't have to worry about that but it should be an interesting fight hopefully uh, it's competitive uh, you know I'm looking forward to the heavyweight bout uh, that should be pretty awesome uh, UFC 203